Hi everyone. So today we're going to be talking about the cortical spinal tract. And basically what the cortical spinal tract does is it is responsible for voluntary muscle movement. So if you notice right now, I am writing on this board, I am voluntarily moving my muscles so I can write the sentences on the board. That's thanks to the uh, cortical spinal tract. So as the name implies, it goes from the cortex to the spine. So basically there's two parts to the cortical spinal tract. And the first part is called the lateral cortical spinal tract. And what the lateral cortical spinal tract is responsible for is movement of muscles in my limbs. So if I want to move my arms or my legs, it's going to be the lateral cortical spinal tract. The other one is the anterior cortical spinal tract. And what the anterior cortical spinal tract does is it is responsible for movements of axial muscles. So if you recall, the axial muscles are basically the muscles that are along the trunk of my body. So let's say I wanted to do a sit-up. That's going to be the anterior cortical spinal tract. When I go to put my hands behind my head to do a sit-up, that's going to be the lateral cortical spinal tract. So let's take a look at this some more and start talking about where it starts and all that. So if we take a look, I'm going to draw a brain right here. And what you're looking at is a brain on basically someone who's looking that way and you're looking from the side. And if you recall, the front of the brain is separated from the back of the brain by something called the central sulcus. And a central a sulcus is just a shallow depression. So the central sulcus is in the center of the brain. Like I said, it separates the front from the back. In front of the central sulcus, you have something called your precentral gyrus. This is the solid part that's in here. All right. And so we have the precentral gyrus. Okay, and then also, lo also located in here is the primary motor cortex. That's going to be located in here also. So now, imagine I were to take, oh, and by the way, there's more than the primary motor cortex that helps get the motion started or makes the muscle move. You also receive information from the parietal lobe, you receive it from the cingulate gyrus, you receive it from the somatosensory cortex, which is located right here behind the central sulcus. Um, but anyways, the primary motor cortex is gonna be located right here. Now imagine I cut this brain in half, all right? I cut this brain in half, and then I take the front half off. So I have this part here, and then I turn it like this towards you. So let me go like this, I'm going to take this front half off like this and then I have this part of the brain and I turn it towards you. It's going to look like this here. Okay, this is what the brain is going to look like now as we, as we look at it. So if we move the camera over here and what's going to happen now is where you see the lines out here on the outer portion this is going to be my cerebral cortex. So on the brain, different parts of the cerebral cortex will be responsible for providing nerve innervation to different parts of the body. We have nuclei in here. Okay, here's my nuclei. And coming out, and if you remember, nuclei are made up of cell bodies. All right, so coming off my nuclei, I am going to have axons okay and now let's say we want to move our hand so the part of the cortex that would be responsible for moving hand is going to be somewhere right around here this is supposed to be a hand right here okay there's my hand and what's going to happen is this I am going to have the nerves from this passing down through the brain and then they're going to come to the medulla oblongata and when they get here, they're going to go through something called the pyramids. 
and they're going to come again. We're moving the hand here. So it's going to come like this, go through the pyramid and cross to the other side in the, in the pyramids of, that are located in the medulla oblongata. Then it's going to come down to the spinal cord to this area that's right about right here. And again, so we're moving the hand. This is my lateral cortical spinal tract. It is then going to come into the anterior horn here and it will synapse. And then from there, the nerve is going to come out through the ventral root and go out and move my hand. Okay? So now, let's say that I wanted to do this. Oh, before I get to that, one thing I want to say is about 75 to 90% of these fibers will cross in the lateral, lateral cortical spinal tract. The other 10% will go straight down. Let's take a look now on if I wanted to do a sit-up, okay? The part of the body that's gonna feel the trunk or the part of the cortex that's going to feel the trunk is going to be this part that's basically right up in here. I'm just gonna use a different color to distinguish this. I'm just gonna draw another nuclei in here. And what this is going to do now is this is my anterior cortical spinal tract. It's gonna come down, it's gonna go through the pyramids, but it's not going to cross over to the other side. It's just gonna come straight down like this. It's gonna go down the spinal cord and then go to the anterior part that's right here. Again, so this is my anterior cortical spinal tract. Once it gets in here, it loops back around, crosses over to the other side, and now what it's going to do is the nerves, it's gonna synapse, that nerve's gonna come out through the ventral root, and then it's gonna to go to my trunk, and it's gonna help me do a sit-up. So once again, lateral cortical spinal tract comes down, about 75 to 90% of the fibers cross over, goes down to the uh, lateral part of the spine, then into the ventral horn or the anterior gray horn, and then comes out and moves my hand. If I am doing a sit up or moving my axial muscle, like right now I'm rotating to face the camera, it's gonna come down like this, hit the anterior part, go over to the other side, and then go out to the axial muscles. That is the cortical spinal tract. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again.